whatever you're a man or woman, I believe in accountability. If you're a man, if you're making poor choices in life, you're making poor choices for yourself to improve as a man, you're not treating the woman, you're not, you're not investing into a relationship with a good woman, then he should be held accountable. I believe that entirely in my heart, but also, like I said, women should be held in the same standard expectation and be held accountable for the same standards that they expect men to be. So if women out there today are making poor choices for their life, are making poor choices for their body, are making poor choices for themselves, not improve themselves to be better people, to be better women, and not improving themselves to be a high quality partner for a man, for especially the good men out there in this world, then they should be held accountable. These are the things I'm saying right now, like I said, uh, if you say this, if a man says this, then it's misogyny. But if a woman says it, then it's called woman empowerment. So uh, if a man has standards, it's called discrimination. If a woman has standards, it is called preferences. And um, she knows what she wants. So that's pretty much it for today's live show. Explain to you guys uh, why, like I said, why, what do, like I said, that, that was the topic for today was what do modern women today actually bring to the table? This is a first world problem, like I told you guys before. This is a first world problem. You don't see this problem in any other country uh, except the Western societies. The Western societies, the first world Western societies, because if you look at other countries who are very traditional, you know, uh, their uh, their traditional roles, they don't have marriage issues. They don't have uh, uh, divorce issues. And the men are getting they're, they're getting married and they're staying in, in in their marriage. But only in the Western societies in America, where we have a fifty percent divorce rate. And, uh, and like I said, 80% of women are, 80% of women are initiating the divorces.